butter boards. Now, Ms. Snack, may I call you Miss Snacks or Justine? That is my professional name. Okay. Ms. Snacks. Ms. Snacks. What okay, is a butter board? Look at some board? of these images. So gorgeous. Oh, okay, wow. so that is the original butter board. Well, actually, the original butter board it's is like from... It's like a piece of toast. It's, well, that's my favorite cutting board, my little toast board. But butter boards are basically a fun way to eat butter. Um, obviously, spread out on a board where you can decorate it, customize it. I was like, it's a stick of butter that you could just make way more fun. The idea is actually from a cookbook, one of my favorites, uh, Six Seasons by Josh McFadden. And then it turned oh, into an yeah. amazing, amazing chef. And it just turned into this juggernaut of an idea. But you are creating two new butter boards for us today? Right, two new butter boards. So the cool. internet has obviously taken this by storm and done whatever they want. But these are more like fall holiday themed butter nice. boards. So this one I was just spreading is actually, it's speckled because it's a brown butter board. So mm. I know, this is like brown mm. butter 2.0. I'm squeezing her arm so bad. She's She's gonna have gonna my fingerprints. I know. I might have to take you home with oh me. Oh my God. I don't know if she'll let me go. Um, <laughs> but this is brown butter mixed with softened butter. And then what I like to do is take chili flakes, put those Ooh, on top. Yum. And then of course we have chili powder, which is like an earthy, smokier flavor. Mm. And then a little bit of harissa if you wanna go nuts. And since this is more of a fall themed board, warmer flavors, warmer like, types of textures, we're using pumpkin seeds, mm. and then all of my butter boards typically call for a semi-sweet and a semi-salty element. So we have honey here that you just drizzle oh. on top. I'm Gorgeous. I'm actually globbing on top because I want a significant amount of honey to like kind of mellow out the spicy. Mm. And then flaky salt and thyme. And yes. so this is why butter boards have gone insane is because they're so... Easy, delicious, and layerable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and like people are worried that this is like a dip, but really it's like, it's just a fun way to take a knife, spread there butter. Is, there is nothing wrong with a dip. We were just talking about our love and affection for dips as well. I could eat dips for every meal. Yes. Rachel's sister, when she was a kid, used to eat sticks of butter. So <laughs> she, she used to sneak into the kitchen. My mom kept the butter in the freezer so that it would have a long shelf life. Maria used to take the, the butter from the freezer like a pop, like a popsicle, peel it back and just gnaw. I'm not kidding. Was it salted or unsalted butter? It was salted. My mother loves salted she butter. She had taste. Yes, she, she did. did. <laughs> she did. She did. So that's what this number one fall board looks like. That's I mean, gorgeous. So that's more like spicy. And this one. I'm moving down to this one. This one is already spread for me. Um, and this one's more sweet. So we're actually doing candied nuts. This is like what I would serve at a Friendsgiving or like a holiday party because it's I got love Friendsgiving. Smaller groups of people and eat. You know, it's a, it's a little easier. And it's so communal. And I feel like we're all in a space where like food is just meant to be like really creative and communal right now. And that's why I'm like such a fan of the butterboard. People are giving like it a little bit of backlash on the internet because the internet does what it does. But we are still not reading the negative comments. <laughs> no, these are, how could you not like this? No, it's so fun. What's not to love about butter? And so this one has come <laughs> This one has kumquats on it. Now, kumquats are like a sharper, if you haven't had one before, they're mm. like a really acidic, nice, tiny, tiny orange, but you can eat the rind. Um, and then I'm also doing lemon zest on mm. this one. The yum, color. Yum. And so this one's really sweet, but super citrusy. Mm. So you're using- And bright. So, so yeah. bright. And I know we're not to winter citrus season yet, but if you are, like this is mm, the- Blood, blood oranges too, right? Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting, and that's like Clementine. the thing. Oh, mm. So many ideas. And like with rosemary too, you can make this just like oh, yes. super warm, super mm. comforting. I and love citrus with rosemary. Oh yeah, it's, it's such a, classic. a good combo. Yeah. And like toasting the rosemary too, mm. like in a little bit of pan, mm. and crunchy. Man, okay, now you I have You can see like, she's a little obsessed. She does this a lot. <laughs> I have a million more ideas, but we're only doing two boards. Uh, but I'm brightening this one up because we're not at winter just yet with a little bit of mint. And that's also kind of nice because you get like the bite mint of mint. Mint and citrus too, yeah. Yeah, Lovely. so good. So refreshing too for your palate. It's almost like you're brushing your teeth with butter. <laughs> <laughs> so many ways. And then what are all the, say it, Oh, accoutrement. The accoutrement. Oui, oui. I said that off camera and she was like, you should say it like that. Because she, she said it so beautifully. Here we are. So we have the accoutrement. Right, the accoutrement. So to eat radishes with butter is very typically French. Mm -hmm. um, there's and delicious. So, so good, especially if like the radishes are like spicy. Um, and then of course bread. I like sourdough for this. Crackers are great. This is, I said in my video, I made a huge mistake. Can I was I, like, can I, can I? Dip, go. I want to hear what you think about the brown butter one. Look, I'm flossing my teeth with a radish. <laughs> mm. Yes? I love brown butter so much. So good, right? That's fantastic. And like nice and toasty. I want to try it with mm. 